We welcome you to Bricktown Ballpark in Oklahoma City. It's time for the 2019 Phillips 66 Big 12 Baseball Championships. It's day two, and we have an elimination matchup coming your way between the Oklahoma Sooners, winners of 33 games on the year. But the Sooners are the number seven seed in this tournament, taking on a TCU Horn Frog team seeded sixth that dropped a heartbreaker last night to number three seed Oklahoma State. There's a ball lifted in the air off the bat of Connor McKenna. Pretty deep to right field and should be deep enough to score a run. Hardman tags at third. He's on his way in. The throw is cut off, and Oklahoma leads it one to nothing. So how about we uh, get a little cowboy inside? That ball is hit off of Wiles. Tracks it down, flips to first, and that gets Adam Oviedo. Be a head coach, and uh, there's times when I look at him, I worry about him, but... Uh, <laughs> That ball hit by Watson off the top of the left field fence. The park is able to keep it in, and TCU has a leadoff double here in the fourth. I'm safe to say it. Mickey's junior year, he started figuring out how to hit. Another high fly ball to left field, and the wind might take this one out of the yard, and it does. The home run off the bat of Johnny Reiser. He goes to left, drives in Watson, and TCU has taken a two-to-one lead. It's launched it high like a lob wedge, and the wind took it out of the yard. And this one is blistered the other way to the right field corner. It's going to be extra bases for Henry. He's taking a peek, thinking about three, but satisfied with two. A little bit more of a small ball type team. That ball ripped into the right field corner. That's going to find the fence and bring in Henry. TCU is going to play another run. Shepard has touched second. He's on his way to third. Here comes the throw, but it's nowhere near in time. An RBI triple for Connor Shepard. 7-5, but now leading 3-1. to one. And this ball is drilled into center field, and that's going to score another run. Eight good players and eight good pitchers, and then whatever was left. Hit and run was on, and the toss to second base gets away, and now the sprint is on, and TCU's going to have runners at first and third again as another run comes across, and the Horned Frogs have added to the lead here in the bottom of the fourth. This ball is crushed, right center field, it's deep, and it is gone. A grand slam home run off the bat of Josh Watson. And TCU has exploded for nine runs in the bottom half of the fourth inning. As you were earlier, it's going to be another tough play right here. That's a floater that falls in the middle of the triangle. It's off the glove of Treadaway. And look at Shepard sprinting that entire time. He never let up around first base. The runner scores, and Shepard ends up at second. And the wind's not going to stop blowing. No, well, he doesn't need wind either. for this one. This one is launched. It is deep, and it is out of the park. A two-run home run off the bat of Zach Humphreys. That was launched, and that ball is gone. Third home run of the season for Humphreys. And it's 12-1 to 1, TCU. One ball, two strikes. This ball into the gap that's going to drop in right center field. It's going to score at least one. It rolls to the fence. Oviedo has touched second. He's on his way to third. Scoring from first is good low. Two more come in on the two RBI triple with two away by Adam Oviedo. Ground ball. This could be two. Zaragoza goes to two for one on the first. And that throw is not in time. One more on the board for TCU. Riser comes in to score. There go the runners. The pitch is low. That's ball four, and he's walked in a run. Here's Tyler Hardman. Ground ball. This is the third. Goodwill knocks it down and can't pick it up. Another run comes in. But it is an offense that can really produce. Ground ball. This is the second. Fielded cleanly, flipped to second. That retires the side, and that ends the game. But you had some problems out of your bullpen. You had a fielding miscue. That prolonged the inning just a bit. But the lead's big enough for TCU to survive. And in this game, early by run rule. After six and a half, TCU has defeated Oklahoma to stay alive in the Big 12 Conference Tournament with a 15-3 victory.